Hey everybody, Omni Griffin here, and welcome back to Tumble Seed. So, uh, real fast, a whole bunch of stuff has changed. Absolutely, a ton of things have changed. So, the Tumble Seed devs, and and I uh, was talking with them. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I, I, I tweeted with them a little bit uh, about. Obviously, I've been tweeting them about various changes and things. However, one of the things that has definitely changed is uh, the, the level of difficulty. Um, one of the things that came to light is that a lot of people were playing Tumble Seed, uh, a, a lot of like initial reviewers and stuff were playing Tumble Seed and enjoying themselves, but finding it very hard. And that, in my opinion, if I haven't already gone into this, is in, I, I want to go into it again because I think it's important and I think I probably did it at the end of an episode. I think that's fine. I think it's good. I like difficult games. I'm getting my ass handed to me in Orbox C, and I love it. Uh, like, things like that. Like, the fact that you can't just pick up this game and win immediately is something that I think gives it merit. It gives it replayability. It makes it a challenge. To me, that's something I appreciate in the game. I understand that for a lot of people, when they pick up a game, they want to relax. They want to just play it to have fun. They don't want to be struggling, and that's fine. I, if that's your prerogative, I'm cool with it. If that's why you play the game more power to you i think there's a lot of games out there that can fill that niche and are still good games in fact i you're gonna be hard pressed for me to find you're gonna be hard pressed to find a game that i will like actively call bad if you like it like, if you enjoy a game i'm not gonna be like oh that game's garbage why do you play that like i don't do that because everybody plays games that they enjoy that's why they they play them you don't play a game because you hate it, it I'm, okay i'm sure there's somebody who does that but point being while I may like pick up Isaac and win a lot of the times, uh, it, I've put hundreds of hours into that game, and that's why I'm so good at it. I think I've yet to put... I think maybe I've put 100 hours into Tumble Seed thus far. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to double check. Uh, and, and that's not important right now. But case in point, when the game is difficult and it takes time to, to, to learn and get good at, it doesn't always reflect well on the game to some people. And that's what apparently a lot of reviewers were saying, is this is fun, but it's really hard. And that was turning people off from playing the game. And so the devs, uh, it is their job to sell their game, to market their game. Uh, I mean, obviously, if they wanted to, they could make it some insane, hardcore, you're going to lose all the time game. But that's not what they wanted. They wanted a game that was challenging, but fun, and also doable. They wanted to find that right balance. And so in order to make the game more appealing to new players uh, and reviewers and just in general they have made some changes to the game there is in fact i can go ahead and i, I think i can go here yay we'll go to the news here so yoink so there are new modes Individually themed mountains that are the same every time you play. You can complete quests that will unlock new auras for you to use. We talk about that. There's now a weekly challenge instead of a... Well, not... Sorry, not instead of a daily challenge. In addition to a daily challenge, there is a just a weekly challenge. Oh, that's right. My mouse isn't being captured. Oopsie. I can't gesture at, at this for you, but uh, the second bullet point in new modes. Uh, going on to the general changes. Oh, wait. Uh, let's look at the whole thing. There we go. The general changes. Add a new achievements. Cool. Uh, auras in base camp. So now you can get up to 12 auras that will be accessible in the fort at base camp. You unlock them by completing quests, and when they're available, they're just available. Once you unlock them, they're unlockable. The daily and weekly challenge will offer four, uh, regardless of your progress. So that way, if you haven't unlocked them, you still you, you don't get like shafted in, in those modes. Um, there are no more teleporters, so that's a thing. Uh... You will okay. Uh, you can remove an aura at a shrine near the top of a temple. So if you pick up an aura that perhaps you don't want, like a homing aura or something like that, you can now uh, get rid of it. Uh, there are no quests in adventure mode. They're I think now all in uh, the, the the specific mountains, which is fine by me. Uh, tutorial now enters forest mode upon completion instead of adventure mode uh, because those modes are the replacement for adventure mode. Uh, not worried about the the rumble input 
Wait, can I highlight? Yeah, okay, I can highlight and you guys can see. All right, so auras, eight new auras. These are, so one of these is my baby, apparently. A thorn, you do not lose thorns when taking damage. This, this is basically, <laughs> this is basically what I've been bitching and moaning about. Uh, that I haven't liked. So you can pick this aura and you won't have to worry about losing your thorns when you take damage. Fantastic. Sneak is become invisible and moving slow enough. I think that's pretty cool. Free fall, don't take damage from falling in holes. That's pretty insane. Uh, force field, all damage is taken reduced down to one. So even if you run into spikes, which I believe deal three damage, you only take one. I know I'm going backwards. Uh, all time minigames shops are more financially beneficial. Enemies drop more crystals. Uh, increased time based and increases bounce height and slows descent speed. So these are some new auras that are pretty cool. Poison shots aura from the game is apparently, or poison shots are apparently gone. Same with teleporter auras. The vampire aura now gives you crystals when killing two and three HP enemies. Before it gave you like pieces of hearts and, and I think they just didn't count if you killed bigger enemies. Uh, auras no, will no longer fall off when taking damage. So once you pick up an aura, you're good. Uh, your current aura now swaps positions with the new aura. Just a, a small change. So seed powers. There's just there's just some some new changes. I don't I didn't want to actually go through all of these. Um, there's now a heart limit at 30. That's a shame. Added a clearer sound cue for when sinkholes are opening up. That's useful. Um, go check out the news if you want to read these in more detail. This is all. I, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Oop. So yeah. As I said, lots of changes. So there's the tutorial, forest. Apparently, we can't go to these until we finish the other ones. Adventure mode is still a thing, um, but now there are the other ones. There's also the daily and the weekly. So I talked with Anorak, or sorry, I should say I messaged Anorak. He hasn't gotten back to me just yet. Okay, this is the weekly. Uh, it does not appear as though Anorak has played the weekly yet. Uh, I think he's been busy. Uh, he played... Oh, that's the global. Oh, yeah, by the way, he's he's uh, five on the global boards. He finally gets 1,500. So, awesome for him. Absolutely awesome. Uh, but, yeah, uh, looks like he hasn't played today either. It's not Sunday that I'm recording this. So, it could be that he's taking some time off and hasn't had a chance to check his channel. That's fine, I understand completely. So, I'm gonna do the weekly challenge, but we're gonna start by looking at the forest. Because I wanna, I wanna see this, I wanna, I wanna try this out. And let you guys see the changes. So we've got a new quest. Oh man, I already feel rusty. Oh wow. This is big. When you see an exclamation over my head, that means I've got a task for you. I've been around the mountain a long time, and I know how intimidating it can be trying to reach the peak. Still haven't gotten there myself. Warm up by killing three enemies. You won't be reaching the peak without swishing a few bugs. Meet me back here when you're done. I'll have a nice reward for you. Oh, now that you're a big shot, don't forget where you came from. Plant your checkpoints and stay humble. Remember, you're supposed to hit this after the tutorial. And my controller is rumbling. So we need to kill three enemies. Um, there's a couple things that we could do here. I don't know actually how these work. I think it just goes from jungle biome to jungle biome. And there are interim steps in the middle. Like, I actually think that's just how it works. I'm going to eventually kill enemies, but I'm going to wait and see if I can get a better seed. I don't know if it just keeps going forever, or if you eventually, you know, reach the top. I watched a little bit of people playing, but a little bit of Anorak playing, actually, but I didn't, uh, didn't have time to watch the whole episode, so I didn't actually see the end. That was nice, nice rolling in between the holes there. So one of the things that I wanted to ask you guys is how you felt about those montages. I didn't get many comments. Um, I got some. I got some. Uh, I didn't get a ton. So I know there's a couple people that watch it, so I always always am curious. I like the long score. It's better than the invincibility, and this is going to be a way that we can kill three enemies without even worrying about it. 
fact, I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it uh, after he passes, though. It pays for itself. Pays for itself. Oops. Rolling, rolling just a little bit too much there for my, my test. I don't know if. Uh, you know, what? I'll kill this guy too. Making two crystals off of a plot, which is better than better than average. I think at this point we start doing hearts. And we go into heart mode. We've killed two enemies, so we just need to find an opportunity for a third. I have a feeling we're only gonna be seeing easy enemies here. But I don't know. There are achievements for clearing these mountains too, so. That's what one of the, uh, the checkpoints said. Or one of the checkpoints, one of the uh, change, change logs said. Getting some hearts. We're at 17 crystals, which is pretty good. gotta say. Shh, quiet down. Yeah, yeah, okay. What are you, what do you have to say? Well, I'm thinking it's a safe here, but I miss home. I do not want to gamble. Okay, there's no place for an aura here, which is interesting. I wonder if we can buy auras then. That'd be neat. We can just buy a heart for six crystals. You know what? I'm game. We've got crystals to spare. Although, how much was the tall spore? Screw it. We'll do some crystal collecting, but that'll probably give us the opportunity to kill stuff that we might not have gotten before. I don't know for sure. But there's no missile route here, here yet, so... So here's where I want tall spore. Bring it, homing enemy. I do not believe I profited there. But I got a quest complete, so... Yeah, we, we spent one crystal. This is what happened. We spent one crystal to kill two enemies and finish a quest. I'll take it. I'm not going to be sad about that one. Besides, there'll be a chance for us to be more profitable here, I'm sure. As long as we don't die. We do have six hearts, though, so I'm feeling pretty good. Six hearts is more than I usually have. I have a feeling I didn't try for the totem, but I have a feeling that there's not a totem. Spore is cheaper. 
I presume because it is supposedly easier or harder to line up against enemies like this. So we broke even there. We used a plot, so technically we, we lost the plot, but that's okay. This is the slow versus invisibility. I'm probably not going to use either, but I'll take it. <coughs> Excuse me. Almost accidentally used it. Got a bomb plant right there. Okay, I can do this. Gotcha. Nice try, bomb plant. Alright, we got two homing enemies here. I'm not saying I'm planning bad, bad ideas. So I definitely made some, some profit there, but not a ton. And we got the crystals. That worm was trying to guard it, but he did not guard well enough. Alright, so I got a lot of crystals. Okay, there's a lot of crystals coming up too, so I will be acquiring a heart here. Or starting again on the hearts. Basically no reason not to. Ooh, what's this? This is new. Okay. Presume we need to press this button. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, I think I need to. Oh my gosh, that's slow. Okay. kill the enemies or you can't press these buttons is what I'm what I'm what I'm grokking here is is that that's the the design of this is to kill all the enemies I wonder if they'll switch up depending on the mountain all right hello controller ah achievement unlocked forest peak Okay, so we unlocked the jungle by beating the forest, but we still have quests there. I see. Okay, so this is going to be... I actually like this. I think this is going to be really cool. I like the way that they did this, and they did this fast. This is a lot of development work. I don't, I don't think that this will be appreciated by the average person. The amount of change is insane. That is a large amount of change. All right, we're going to go to the weekly challenge. So it's the same mountain the whole week, so we can keep playing this mountain and it should be exactly the same and i think that's really awesome uh, we did not oh that's right we will have okay so we've got thorn aura what are you i now understand this room plant powers for free on low health Time to seed powers last longer, and this is vampirism, isn't it? Gain hearts, not crystals. Uh, I like me some vampirism, to be honest. I think it's one of the best powers. 
I know, I'm not taking the thorn one. I... Yeah, 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 I don't want to talk with you, sorry. Alright, so, because I'm not going to get crystals from killing enemies... Now, by the way, there were some changes made to, like, Missile Root. Like, Missile Root's not going to one-shot uh, snakes anymore. Because the missiles that break off from it, the cluster missiles, whatever you want to call them, uh, yeah, those are going to do other things. Like, they, they can't hit the initial target, I think, is how it got worded. Okay, I can sneak by that. Okay, I've got an empty heart. I want to see how much this gets me. If anything. Okay. So basically, a thorn... I want to set this off. Whee! Okay. Basically, picking up a thorn is as good as, like, it turns, it lets you kill enemies. Okay, I definitely hear that sound a little bit more. It means that when you kill enemies, you, you're you using the plots to get the weapons, but it's just as good, and I do mean just as good as having used it to plant it for seeds instead, it's just you've also gotten rid of the enemy. That's what the Vampirism War is, basically. Just fine by me. Ooh, I like this one. Cannon score is good. Now, there have to be enemies around, mind you, but... I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna start collecting thorns. I need four thorns. Positive being that if I kill any enemies with them, it will be as though I have chosen instead to use a heart. What? What? Get out of here. Nobody loves you. I'm gonna have to fight him at the same time. Oh gosh! I am kind of saying fuck it here, by the way. We actually got a bunch of crystals and a bunch of hearts. So I call that worth. I'm going to purchase a fifth here just to have it. But I'm not going to use anything else just in case I take damage. If I take damage at this point and lose my thorns, I have to abandon. The explosion kills enemies! And that gave me a heart, too. I'm so happy that that kills things. I don't know if I'm the one who caused that, but... Crap. Alright, abandoned ship. I can't kill it now, I don't have enough. Unfortunate, but true. Alright. That's okay, we can still do a normal run. I haven't beaten the game yet, so I should probably do that.
ching. Mmm, crystals. It's 29. Let's see, do we have a better aura in here? The answer is probably no. What is this? I don't recognize this one. Better prices. Oh, oh, I could pick it up, buy stuff from the shop. If there's anything in the shop I want to buy, I'll go back for it. I'm tempted to buy the tall seed. I'm very tempted to buy the tall seed. I don't have another method of attacking right now. I'm really sad that totem got me. I kind of knew it was going to happen, though. So it was, what, six? It could be a very efficient way to gain hearts, is what my, my thought process is. It's a relatively cheap attack. It's three crystals. And it could be super useful against the worms. Oh my gosh. Cut that price in half, please. You know what? Screw it. If there's just a crap ton of stuff, I will throw an avalanche down. There's almost no reason not to. I bought two for the price of one. I'll take it. So what's this for now? This is where you put the teleporter thing. Oh, that's how you can get rid of your aura if you don't want it. I see. That makes sense. If you don't want either of the auras, that's your way of getting rid of it. Alright, so I basically just want to build up crystals. Because I'm using them to gain everything. So you're going to give me 1.5 return, right? I should talk to him. I need to make sure to talk to him next time before I claim my crystals. I don't know if you let it sit. How that goes. I guess I did have an offensive seed type. Exactly as planned. I wanted to kill those guys. Whew. That was skirting the line. Crap. Okay, remember they have a set jump distance. I'm stuck. God damn it. There are a couple times there that I should not have gotten hit, but uh, we're playing with fire at this point, so.
Oh my god! I'm playing poorly. a whole bunch of my crystals to do stupid shit, so I should probably buy some crystals. Also, we now have a whole bunch of stuff, and my stupidity is kicking in. I want missile roots so bad. Go away, you frackin' tiny spider. I don't know if I can get those. Not gonna stop me from trying, though. I do have a good number of crystals, so I can't really complain, but I do not have the hearts that I would desire to have. Okay, flail. Flail flower is pretty good. One uh, crystal for presumably some decent damage. But I'm spending crystals on hearts, which is certainly not ideal. very far away from me right now for some reason, so I hope I'm not too quiet. Go away. Crap. Well, this is about to go very poorly for me. I lied! Crap! Okay. I'm glad I found him. That would have been really unfortunate. We got money and health out of that, which is awesome. Yeah, Missile Root would have been truly insane. I'm trying to stay out of his line of sight, but it's getting really hard because he keeps following me. Inadvertently, I'm not entirely convinced, but sure. This is going to be a long episode. This was not intended, but it happened anyway. Oh, that's the thorn seed. Don't lose your thorns when damaged. If you were to get the... Uh, unfortunately, the, you can't get two auras. Or I'd say hell yeah, because there's the aura that turns all the crystals you would gain into thorns. If you could have multiple auras, it'd be truly insane. I don't think it's worth paying that much for a heart. I 
I just don't think it is. I haven't decided what I want to spend these on yet. I feel like I should be good at this. You know what? I've got enough health. I'll risk it. Alright, what's my plan? Uh, I think I go... I immediately go to the left to hit that green and the normal crystal. And then I just go for the buttons. I go to the right and then I go up. And then I'm gonna have to find my way over to the left. I've... Oopsie. I've gotta do these more. I need to get better at them. Alright, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pull out this seed because I can see it better. Because the green one makes it profitable. Three. Two, one. Damn. I should have had that. I didn't fall, so there's that. Nice, what happens? Welcome back. Want to cash out? You'll get 12 crystals back. Uh, no. I think I'll get more later. I want to double check this. I think that's a pretty solid theory. Oh, dang. That's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Believe me, I am looking to Avalanche, I think, more than anything else. shooting to the to the right next so beautiful and let's snipe these two guys over here oh bullshit okay I missed fine What? Oh my gosh. I thought it was going in a circle. I call BS. What's interesting though is I actually get a quarter of a heart back for killing an enemy. So I really only get damaged for three quarters of a heart ever. I find that odd too, but it's sensical based on the name of the aura. Ooh, that was a little close for comfort. Shot's coming down next, so I'm gonna take cover here. Whoa, that got a little jumpy. What is that creeping sound? I do not like. Oh, it's you. Oh, 
I'm gonna leave you alone. Actually, I need I need to get I need to pick up some crystals because I'm spending crystals to kill stuff, which is getting me hearts and is definitely worth it. But I'm running low on crystals, which I need to be careful of. Yes, shield all the way. Shield sprout will let me absorb three shots, three ranged shots without taking damage. I'm getting sweaty. Uh, I actually do want to use the, crystal, or the, uh, the shield sooner rather than later. One plot, five crystals saves four plots, four crystals. It, it's pretty worthwhile. Shark, as it has apparently been named. I'm skipping that plot. Probably. Crap. That's one of the things. I don't know how many of them. Kind of. I meant kind of. Remember, it's better to take the hit at this point. Which is good, because I'll get my investment back from the banker. Hopefully. Okay, he's trapped right there. Okay, now would be the worst time ever to fall, as I have not planted a single checkpoint seed. Alrighty. Yeah, I have a distinct lack of crystals here, but this should help. We've got a lot of hearts, though. That's, I think, the big thing that's going to help me out here. Ooh, there's a time challenge, too. Okay. Invested and we got some return. Yeah, none of those are worth it. Which is kind of what I expected. Alright, this will set me up for some more crystals. I have 24, 25 crystals. And I think I will be able to make some on the target shot. Uh, let's check what our ore is. Because it could be something good for this specifically. Is that freeloader? Mine flower. Yeah, we're not now. Although.
Oh, did it not work? Oh, I think it eats it if I'm sitting on top of it. Look, I don't know if this is going to work. I have a feeling that they're going to go away. But I'm going to try it. Nope, totally worked. There's a downside to this, however. The I'm going to fail bad kind of this. Okay, so mine fl oh my gosh, they stay. They stay! We don't want this! Okay, so, no. That cost us five crystals. Probably more, more like 20 because of the swing. Oh, damn. We still have 20 crystals, which still isn't bad, but... Pushing my luck here is what I'm doing. Can I please? I'm dumb. There was not much to study is the problem. Oh, I'm going too slow. You can already tell. paid off handsomely. I could be super rich right now if I hadn't messed that up. That's okay. It means... Wait, do you have to say something because I succeeded? Hmm, this course was too easy. I gotta stop putting so many crystals out. Oh, what do oh, I mean? Nice job. Yep, uh-huh. Uh-huh, you're a dick. That's what I'm, that's what I'm reading. Whoopsie. Alright. Got 29 now, 28. Yeah, yeah. If one of those had been missile root, that would have made my day. Oh my gosh. I was not desiring contact damage. This guy is guarding this crystal. I should have tried to kill him. Okay, we've got this right here. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I'm bad at these, but we're going to try it because I've got so many hearts. Let me wipe off my hands because, oh my gosh, my hands are so sweaty. Alright, I want a crystal that I can see. Oh my god, you're kidding me! Alright, that's it. We, we, I don't think we can make it to the second one. I thought I had that. I had that. I don't, I don't care what you say. I had it. <sighs> we have a bunch of crystals, but that gives you seed types, and one of those could be awesome. That is not cool. Dang it. Oh! Ah. 
need to wait for this damn thing. Actually, I don't have to. See, I don't trust myself to be able to do that, so... I actually need to use this. Yep, that guy really took no damage. Alright. You're fucking kidding me. Okay, the range on that guy, though. Damn it, I'm just throwing it all away. Just throwing it all away. because I'm going really slow. Nope, okay, abandon, abandon this attempt, abandon this attempt. Get more balanced. I'm, I'm suddenly just like flailing. I think I want to take this guy with a thorn because I got him already. Actually, no. take out that asshole. Oh my gosh. We gotta snipe. We gotta snipe. Yeah! Got it. And then I guess just somewhere up into the ether because maybe it had hit something. Alright. My hearts are still doing okay. I'm just a little stressed out. Just a little stressed out. Nothing too crazy. I need to plant a checkpoint seed. Yep, the answer is get hit instead of... guy. Um, I basically need to ignore him. He's super hard to hit and attempting to hit him will likely just get me killed because aiming with those... Uh, 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 God damn it! Still only one heart. It's bad because I have to go back through this. And some of the things I pulled are no longer an option. And also this guy's down here, which is actually probably the worst thing for me right now. I need him to not come after me. Okay, got away from him. Kind of. Apparently I need to do this because I'm playing so poorly right about now. Holy 
of shit. Those guys are just so homing, it's terrible. I'm taking this, but I'm probably never going to use it. It's a little too dangerous. Though it is very cheap, and will kill some things. I just need to go fast and get away from these guys. Because apparently I'm really bad at dodging them. Oh my! No! Okay, still only one. And I guess I'm away from those guys for now. Get that cr ah, you fiend. Okay, that was gettable. I'm in a very bad spot. No, come on! I need to not fuck up. I am just, I am throwing really fucking hard right now. I was at like ten hearts, and now I'm at five. I'm getting absolutely wrecked by those guys, and there's nothing I can do about it. They're just, they're, they're, they are homing. They are perfectly homing. If they, I shouldn't say perfectly. They are, if I see you, they, they rotate until they see you, and that's when they go. To the top. Which I'm doing okay with right now. I think I. Okay, something died. Totally okay with that. Oh my god. I I slowed. Oh my god, two hearts. I just lost all my progress, and now I have to get past those fuckers. Oh my god, throwing so hard, I should not- I don't deserve a win right now. I've- I should have been done with this ages ago. On the positive side, there's- both of them are like in sync now. That was close. Ah, that made me twitch. Fell because I need to stop fucking up. How about not? Hey, look, there's this. There it is. All right, I've got five hearts for the final boss fight. I do have a shit ton of crystals, though, so I can just avalanche. Yeah, I didn't free any of those guys, so... no. Alright, so here's how this is going down. I'm killing everything. Like, that... That's my goal, is to kill everything.
want everything to be dead. Uh, I'm not gonna succeed at, at killing everything. Just spend as much as I can on shields, I guess. Guess I bad strategy. But it worked. Just staying airborne for as long as possible was legit. Okay, that's all my shield, unfortunately. It's probably worth me dropping an avalanche up here. I was close. If I had not royally screwed the pooch on the snow biome, I would have been good. Boo. Nine sixty. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got pretty far. That's definitely the best I've ever done. But unfortunately, I think we really could have won it. I think we could have won it had I just not screwed up. But that's the way it goes. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new Tumble Seat. I will see you next time. But until then, keep your gears turning. <laughs>